Hey everybody, it's Elijah from Gaia Designs, and today I just thought I'd do a quick update video for the product development blog on our Facebook page, as well as showing off a few of these more one-off bespoke models I printed really for my own recreation, if I'm being perfectly honest with myself, uh, but also to test the sort of limitations of my FDM-based printer and sort of see where the buck falls, as it were, on uh, finer detail and just sort of uh, print speeds and all that kind of thing, and just seeing what kind of detail I could get out of them and uh, using it as an excuse to print out some pretty cool items that I just wanted for my own collection and uh, my own interest. Uh, all of these are obviously gaming related. Um, uh, one game in particular, with the exception of this little guy here, uh, it, the, the game Overwatch. Um, if you're familiar with it, you'll definitely notice um, or uh, recognize these items, or at least a few of them. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd show them off. Uh, I should preface this by saying that none of these are of my own design. I didn't model out any of these myself. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. I picked them up from Thingiverse, I believe, um, or most of them anyway. If you are interested in any of these for your own uh, recreation or if you have a friend who has a print uh, printer or yourself and you want to print them out hit me up in the dms i'll share the link with you or you can just search for them on uh on thingiverse itself they're pretty easy to find um top downloaded obviously they're they're really great models so props to the artists who made these they're uh, they're flawless they're beautiful models moving on um i'll just go ahead and show them off uh I'll start with the i would say the worst of the bunch or um the most disappointing anyway uh, I expected this, um, but uh, yeah, it was still disappointing uh, for this level of detail. Um, but yeah, I'll just go ahead and show you. I'm going to have to do a bit of auto uh, manual focusing, I should say, um, just because of the red. And <laughs> as you can see, it seems to like the background. So sorry, one second. I'll just do some manual focus. Doo -doo 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 -doo. There we go. Uh, let's see if we can get a bit closer. There we are. So this is the character Diva from Overwatch. Um, it got, you know, looking at it now, it's sort of up this close. It, it looks okay. Um, it doesn't look terrible. Uh, there's not a lot of facial detail. It's sort of a general, uh, <laughs> general detail, I would say. Quite a lot of pimpling, quite a lot of um, rough surfaces, and um, yeah, it didn't come out as 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 great as I would have liked. But I sort of expected that with this with this um, level of detail on a model this small. If I was going to print out something like this, I would uh, again, I should say, I would probably go quite a bit larger. Um, probably four or five times large, I would say, maybe up to about 15 centimeters in overall height, just so it does pick up a bit more finer detail. But I just sort of show you it off because it does sort of highlight one of the one of those limitations of an FDM-based filament uh, 3D printer is that, yeah, when it comes to fine details like um, on models like this, for miniatures in particular, um, I would suggest using an SDL-based system, um, a resin-based uh, printing um, device, <laughs> so you just call it. Uh, there, it's a different resin-based system, um, and that's particularly designed basically to do things like this, small, smaller items with finer detail. And uh, they're quite inexpensive now, actually. There's one, one that's kind of doing the rounds, and it goes for about 240 US, I believe. And yeah, some really great results there. So if you are into that, hello, focus. Um, my God, that's bad. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about this. Um, anyway, just sort of moving right along, I'll just go ahead and show off this one. This is uh, Shuriken, obviously, from the character Genji in Overwatch. Again, I'm going to have to do a bit of auto-focusing. Manual, I should say. Mm, um, yeah, probably about there. Uh, yeah, obviously, this is a Shuriken. It came out quite nice um, with a slight imperfection. The slice of software decided it would be a good idea to... Uh, wh which side is it? This one. Uh, for whatever reason, yeah, the slice of software just sort of turned this into a weird angle. Um, and uh, the printer didn't like it very much. I'm not sure if you can really get any more detail there. Uh, yeah, that's probably better. <laughs> Closer is better. Uh, yeah, you can sort of see the it's sort of changed the angle. I'm not sure why it decided to do that. It would have been better if it just kept uh, printing out in a line all the way to the edge. Um, but that's probably something I should have messed with. I probably should have calibrated a bit better and sort of found a better setting. But more or less, it came out quite nice. If you were going to print out something like this for cosplay, uh, you go ahead and print two of them and uh, glue them together so you've got a nice uh, three-dimensional and weightier feel to it. But yeah, it came out quite nice. Um, not, not too bad. Quite a lot of detail. And again, the model is beautiful. So props to whichever artist made that one in particular. Um, but they're all great. Um, I should just move right along. This was a sort of mistake. I didn't mean to print this as large. It was supposed to be about um, a twentieth of the size. Um, I was just going for more like a, a badge. This one's not going to like to focus at all without some sort of background. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is my worst video yet, and that's saying some. Uh, let's just try and focus. Oh, my goodness. Maybe if I put a white background. Jesus.
<laughs> yeah, one of my purchases in the future is definitely going to be a better camera. Yeah, okay. That's probably about as good as I'm going to get it, guys. So I do apologize for that. This, the webcam is just, oh gosh, atrocious. Um, yeah, obviously this is one of the uh, sort of little icons that the character Diva uses. Um, and yeah, it was obviously this would be sort of like a, a, a bag badge or something like that with this little sort of hoop here. Um, you know, you can always wear it as a necklace. I would wear something as large as a necklace. But um, yeah, as I said, it was supposed to be much smaller. It came out quite nice, really good detail and all that. Um, flawless print, didn't have any issues. And again, it's a great model, uh, beautiful. Not much to say about this one. It's what I expected to happen. And um, yeah, it was a great print, but yeah, much too large. And now it's just some weird object I have in my room. Um, moving right along, this is probably my favorite of the bunch just because of how well it came out. Um, it's Mercy's pin. Um, I think it's called a Valkyrie symbol. And it's just a hairpin, but it came out really nice. Let's see if I can just manually focus a bit better here. Just the level of detail is just fantastic. And it was, again, a flawless print. It, um, it lifted off beautifully. And yeah, I didn't have any issues with it. I was just, yeah, I just, I just liked the design quite a lot. And it's, um, yeah, came out really, really, really nice. And I thought I'd share that with you. Um, but yeah, this is just a gift. I'm just going to give this to my, uh, my housemate, Jay. Um, Mercy is one of his favorite characters. And yeah, this is the final one, which I think came out uh, arguably the best and it's probably the coolest. It's from a different game. It's from The Witcher. Uh, this is the medallion he wears. I'm not a huge Witcher fan, so I'm not sure of the overall significance of it um, in the lore, as it were. But um, in any case, it's just a very, very cool uh, uh, wolf sort of bust. And obviously it's got a loop there, so you can wear it as a medallion. Uh, I had to do a bit of cutting away. I'm not sure if you can pick up the detail on the tongue, but I was, I was blown away by the level of detail just on the tongue there. Yeah, but yeah, this print again is just beautiful. The model itself is um, fantastic. So props to the artist who made this. You can see a little bit of bubbling around the teeth there and stuff. Um, I could probably do a bit better cutting that away. Um, but yeah, it came out really nice and just really, really cool. So I just figured I'd share that with you. Um, there's pictures uh, of this one, I believe up on the website. I'm gonna add some more photos anyway. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. I think they're pretty cool. Um, and yeah, if you do want any sort of items like this printed, uh, for your own collection or if you want something like this done, I'm happy to um, build them out myself. Um, obviously, I'm a 3D graphic artist, um, modeling in particular. So if you do have any items you want printed out, I'm happy to um, model them out for you and print them and send them in your way for a small fee. So yeah, I just figured I'd share them with you and just sort of show you the limitations and a few of the, um, the cooler things that I think uh, 3D printers are capable of. So I'll just say goodbye there and uh, thank you for your time. I hope you have a great day. All right, bye.